Good afternoon everybody. Hiya. It's Angela and Dave at Wiley's Travel Adventures. It's Saturday the 16th of November. Yep. I've, I've finished work early today so we're going to have a look around Carlisle Castle. Mm. Which uh, used to be our hometown but we live in Longtown now which is not far away. So yeah come and join us as we dis discover and explore the castle. See you in a bit, everybody. Bye, the moon. Trap door down there. Ooh, this is the creaky floorboards. Another fireplace. So that was the warden's apartments. So, oh, we've just come down the stairs again. And all these buildings used to be owned by the military. I'm just saying to David, this castle, compared to Edinburgh the other day, Edinburgh, you couldn't get moved. But here yeah, it's nice, just nice leisurely walk around. There's a military museum here and you can get in with your English heritage cards as well. Ooh. I'll have to go down these stairs shortly. The half moon battery. We'll definitely be going down them stairs a bit later on. That's where we came in through that arched, arched doorway. That archway. So you don't realise how big this castle is when you actually come into it. Right, let's go. Up some stairs. So this is the captain's tower. And it's telling you what these buildings are out the window. It's a little dinky room. Nice. Could it be in a bedroom? Could it have been. Could it have been anything? Yeah, there must have been a chimney there because it's different bricks compared to the others. Oh, 
Oh, the castle used to be a notorious prison as well, apparently. As well as like military towards the end of, I think they went away in the 60s, military. Yeah. Something like that. I'm not good on history. I have to read it all myself. But yeah. Much better when it's quiet. Ooh. Oh, you can see Sims, he's over in the distance there. Well guys, if you like your history and you want to have a day out in Carlisle, come to the castle. I like the fact that Mary Queen of Scots is here for a few days. Oh, it's his two, I think. But the poor lady was imprisoned for 19 years in different parts of England and then she ended up getting beheaded which was such a shame and it took a few blows to get her head off and then when they lifted her skirts up there was a little lapdog underneath her skirts very sad There's the front of the castle there. Now you can see Dixon's chimney over there. Oh, what's this coming along? Ambulance? Let's have a look. It's taking its time unless it's gone a different way. It's That's Tully House over the way there. That's a that's a museum. Never ever been in Tully House at all. It's meant to be quite good. Oh yes, I think it's an ambulance coming down. You can see with its lights flashing. Uh, ambulance. Lots of walkways at this castle. I'll fill in some of the history when I do my description on YouTube. Because normally when I read something I forget it straight away so I've got to be looking at it to remember it and to write it down all at the same time. As I tell you when you get older you lose your memory and it's not good so if you like what you see guys please like and subscribe we've passed the 500 mark so then our next goal is a thousand we can get super chats now and memberships so if anybody would like to join that would be great but i've got to try and set it up first we try and get out as much as possible obviously my work commitments at the minute are quite uh, heavy i'm there every day at the moment 
for another week and then I'm off next Sunday, Monday and Tuesday but we've got babysitting duties but we're going to try and get away to Blackpool for a night just to show you the Christmas offerings on the seafront let's get back to the castle now instead of me meandering on about things This is where they'll have been shooting their bows and arrows and whatever else in the medieval times. We are not the only ones here. They're all the way along these walls, the little openings. Where they could fire the arrows or guns in later, later times. I do know that Carlisle Castle has had the most sieges of any castle in the UK. It does say that on, on the internet because obviously we're so close to the Scottish border. Carlisle used to pass between Scotland, England, Scotland, England. But yeah, lots of sieges over the centuries. I think it's so cool how these buildings can be preserved like this. And then some castles you go to are in ruins. My favourite part of history is the Tudor times. See Bits Park over there. This is so cool. So here we've got some cannons. It's a big wall, yeah. Quite nice to come and have a wander. And we could come here quite often with our card. There's a tennis court down there, quite a few. Here's some cannons. Yeah, this castle is quite impressive, I must admit. You know, we went to Edinburgh Castle uh, a couple of weeks ago and they didn't have these walkways like this. You can walk right away around. It's marvellous. You can just imagine people shooting the cannons over there, stopping the Scots from coming over the border. <laughs> yeah. You can imagine how it goes right into them tennis courts. <laughs> you just can't imagine it. Oh, well, quite a bit. So we've walked all the way around just about on this bit. building we've just been in. And I think we'll be going into this building next and then we'll see about going into these buildings. And here we have a well. <whistles> Oop. <laughs> Thought it was going to fall down there for a minute. Fifteen seventy seven, Elizabeth the First's crest. 
Yes, fast. So we're going into the keep now. So they've got storerooms and dungeons, the great hall, carvings, and an exhibition on the third floor. So we'll go down the stairs first. So we bit dark in this room. Powder barrel, gunpowder barrel. Hmm. Interesting. So these are all storerooms down here, and there's a dungeon. It's a bit dark, so you might not be able to pick things up. Wait till David moves out the way. He's forever getting into the picture. Uh, it's a bit dark in here, like. Oh, Ooh, spooky. Uh, there's the ghost of Mr. Wiley. <laughs> Must have been some sort of door at some point. Ooh, spooky. Where does this go? I wonder. All right, just a tiny little room. Huh. Cool though. No, I can't see the steps now. <laughs> well, there isn't any. And this is when it was used as a military base. 23,000 recruits passed through the castle between 1914 and 1918. The border regiment housed 500 men in the barracks at the castle and a further 700 men in tents at nearby Bits Park. So we're now in the Great Hall and it's got a, a number of floors to it so you've got the basement where we've just been and all of this is a great hall and then you've got first second and third floors So the castle was home to the border re regiment up until 1959. I think I said the 1960s, so I wasn't far off. That's the biggest trap door there. Let's have a look at this. Where does this go? If anywhere. Oh, another room. Another little room. So many rooms. This castle is really good. I know everybody flocks to Edinburgh Castle, but this is really good. 
I didn't realise how good it was, but it is really good. Here's another tiny room here. So many little rooms and things, isn't that? Fascinating. So we're on the next level now. And there's graffiti on the walls. The oldest graffiti in the country. It's through a glass door, but you can see it on the walls. Focus. That's better. I had to zoom, zoom in to, on to, far in. So you couldn't see them properly. A big door with lots of doodles on. Doodly doodlies. You just see the reflection of us in here though. Yeah. And this is a door. I'll show you, I'll stand a bit further back and you can see. There you go. That's behind glass. And this used to be a chapel. So this is the chamber, so we're here. It used to have a roof like that, but Henry VIII changed it because he wanted to put big cannons up there, so he created another floor, lowered the keep and created another floor and put his cannons up there. So this is the extra floor Henry VIII put on. Ah, oh, you can't go up there, what a shame. Oh. The ghost of Mr. Wiley again. Whereabouts? I do not know. We're talking about the doodlings and the carvings on the walls. Yeah, fascinating stuff. So we're getting up to date now <laughs> with modern days. <laughs> Look at that. Obligations. Ceremonial the stool the carved out of a tree trunk. Tree trunk, even. Hi, guys, so that was Hello. Carlisle Castle. Hope you all enjoyed the video. What a fantastic place. That was grand. Yeah, yeah. David's never been before. I've been years ago. Uh, but yeah, it's really good. So if anybody visits Carlisle, that's a must. Especially if you're English Heritage, because you get in for free. David, get in the picture, please. David go. is home. <laughs> he never gets in the picture. Anyways, if you enjoyed what you see, please like and subscribe to the channel. We've got over 500 subscribers now, and we're looking to get over 1,000. Yep. So no pressure, everybody. None so. whatsoever. <laughs> So if you like what you see, please do that for us. 
and we shall see you all in the next video wherever, wherever. that may be wherever. yeah we kind of decide because we're <laughs> we're on school duties most days yeah so we'll see you next time bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye.